The if error function can be used to eliminate Excel's default error expression. For example, this one right here, it's a nasty one to look at. I call it the Devo expression. Actually, the DIV is the acronym for divided by, and then the zero, well, it's dividing by zero. Anytime Excel sees that, it's going to give us this uh, ugly expression. We can go ahead and use the if error function to customize that so it doesn't display that. Maybe something more pleasant to look at or more applicable when it comes to this database here, like everybody's getting an average bonus size, but why is this one getting this expression? Double click to get inside it, and you can see that it wants to average this range based upon this criteria. So in other words, in this range, it's going to be greater than 100,000. And if it is, like if this was 102,000, that was 103,000, then it would take those two and divide it by two to get the average. But because it's not being met, it divides it by zero. And that's why we get the Devo expression. So to clean that up, when it comes to figuring out the average bonus size, if I send this to my boss and he looks at that and goes, is this guy getting a bonus or not? Well, let me go ahead and fix that using the if error function by coming up here in the formula bar for that cell. And I want to nest this uh, average if function within the if error because the result of that is going to be an error, in which case I want the if error function to take over. So go ahead and click to the right of the equals symbol there and type in if, and then there it is, if error, going to down arrow, and it says it's going to return the value if error, if expression is an error, and then the value that we want to give it. So go ahead with it selected, hit the tab key to pop it open, then there's the value, it's in bold, which is my function. So I'm going to click at the end of it, hit comma, so I can go ahead and enter in what the value is going to be when it comes up with an error, which is open quotes, no go or no bonus, whatever works for you. Now, usually when it comes to single functions, I don't go ahead and close it off or end the parentheses, I just hit enter, but Excel does not like that when you have a function within another function, a nested function. It wants you to clean up your own work and not have to do it for you, so I'm going to go ahead and close the parentheses, then hit enter, and then it works, no go. So now we know that Britt Hume didn't meet the requirements to get an average bonus. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.